Hi guys, today I thought I would share all the things that I'm seed starting in June and most of this stuff is going to be for fall crops or possibly winter and spring. I'm using my favorite seed starting mix, the Burpee Organic mix. It is made from coconut pour, which is much better than using peat moss because we have exhausted our wetlands in the United States um, harvesting peat moss for this reason. And coconut pour is a re really good renewable resource. So I've started using that and I actually like it so much more than the peat moss. I'm gonna start off by starting some Moringa. And I've grown this before. They grow really, really fast, but I wanna share a couple of tips on how to get these to sprout sooner because they do take a couple weeks to come up. So what I like to do is I take some pliers and I just very gently crack the outside shell. And it doesn't take much pressure at all. It looks like I'm pressing hard, but I'm really not. These are even soft enough to just crack with your teeth if you wanted to try that, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's actually late in the season to start Moringa, but because I'm hoping I'll have a greenhouse by winter this year, I'm starting them now and I'm going to be keeping them in my greenhouse. And they're also a perennial in zones nine and above, I believe, but I'm in zone 8A, so I have a harsh enough winter to kill these off. Um, so when these get mature, I'll probably cover them with hay in the winter time to keep them alive. Moringa is considered a superfood and you can eat just about every part of the plant from the leaves to the seeds to the bean pods to even the bark supposedly. Um, however, I've eaten some of the seeds and they are really gross. They're kind of like eating a whole pack of sweet and low. They're very, very sweet, um, like an artificial sweet flavor. It's not very appetizing in my opinion. Next up, I'm starting some red Brussels sprouts, and I love Brussels sprouts, but they take forever to mature here. I'm not sure why, but it takes a good eight months for me to get a fully mature crop from my Brussels sprouts. My Brussels sprouts that I planted, um, I think I planted them in January. They're still not producing, but they're still growing, and they're about to produce Brussels sprouts right now, so it takes a really long time. So I like to start them in the summertime and then usually by late spring, early summer, um, I'll be harvesting these. And it, the same thing goes for my kale. Like my kale does not um, bolt like at all until it gets really hot maybe in August. So I can go a whole year growing the same kale plants and I just continuously harvest the leaves off the bottom. So most brassicas are really great for starting during the summer months if you want to harvest them um, in winter, spring. And I think some people even end up harvesting in fall, in late fall, uh, but not in my area. They like to take their time here. Next up is red kale. Uh, this is a really, really pretty plant. It's actually called scarlet kale. And again, my kale takes all year pretty much before it goes to seed. I usually see my kale go to seed in late July or mid-August, but I didn't grow any kale this year. Actually, I take that back. I did grow some red Russian kale and I just grew it right into the grass in a corner of the property and the chickens like to go over there and eat it and that kale is doing well and I'll probably still, that kale will probably still be growing next spring. So I'll have to do an update video on that corner because I don't think I ever did a video on it. But this is the scarlet kale, and I'll probably be harvesting this or start harvesting this at the end of December um, all through summer. This next one is the red Russian kale, and I seed saved from my crops um, last year. So I have tons and tons of seed, and I highly recommend growing kale just for the seed if you like to grow microgreens because you get so many seeds. I think I have five other packs this size of seed that I saved for my kale last year. So I really recommend growing that if you like to grow microgreens or if you just want to have a huge crop of kale every year. Um, just let one plant go to seed and this is how many seeds you'll get. Next up is another brassica. This is purple kohlrabi. And I grew this this year for the first time, and mine are huge right now. They do really well in the heat also. And I just think the plant is so beautiful. So I wanna plant a bunch more this year. I wanna have a huge row of these just for the purple color. I actually prefer broccoli to kohlrabi. I don't really like kohlrabi that much. 
I think it's okay, but there's so many other things that I like more. So I really am just growing this for microgreen seeds and just for the beauty of the plant. However, I think kohlrabi would be really great for pickling and I definitely want to try that this summer. Next up, I'll be starting some leeks and leeks are perfect for starting in the summertime as well as onions. Um, so really any type of onion, but I like to multi-sow my leeks. So I'm putting several of these in each of these little cells here. And the great thing about the seed starting mix that I'm using is when I go to separate these later, when I plant them in the ground, it's super easy to separate the roots. They don't get um, super tangled up in there because this soil is really, really loose. So I'm probably going to end up putting about 15 to 20 seeds in each cell. And I'll probably end up planting these in late August, maybe sooner if they grow big enough. Um, but I pretty much just plant them whenever they crowd the cell too much. These won't really end up being a fall crop. I'll probably be harvesting these sometime in April or May of next year. Next up, I'm starting some dragon's tail radish again. And the great thing about the radishes that you sow for the seed pods instead of the root crop is you can sow them anytime during the year. And summertime's a really good time because they'll bolt sooner and they'll start um, producing seeds a lot sooner. And that's what type of radish this is. It's actually grown for the seed pods instead of the actual radish. I'm also going to start some strawberry spinach and I tried to start some of these in the spring but I ended up leaving them in the containers too long and they died. So I want to start them again and see if I can't get something from these plants this fall if they make it. And these seeds are super duper tiny so I'm putting a few in each cell. It's also time to sow carrots and I usually harvest my carrots at the end of summer because for some reason carrots also take a really really long time to grow here um, even though it's really hot here but they do well still and I usually end up harvesting um, around June July sometimes even into August and September I usually sow my carrot seeds in the fall, but since I'm sowing a little bit earlier, this time I'm hoping that I will be getting carrots in early spring. I also have a couple of these uh, Cinderella zinnias that I want to plant, and I actually got these from Etsy, and none of them came up last year, so I'm going to baby these last two seeds and see if I can't get these to come up. I grow a lot of zinnias every year, so I'm not sure if there was an issue with the seed. I'm also going to start some cantaloupe because I forgot to start some in the beginning of the season. And cantaloupe really needs um, 90 to about 130 days to get a really good crop um, from seeding to producing fruit. So I'm kind of on the edge of not being able to get fruit, but I'm really hoping that we don't get any frost in October like we did last year. Last year we got our first frost really early on, um, so fingers crossed that I get some cantaloupes this fall. There's several other things that you could seed start during the summer months. You kind of have to look it up according to your zone, um, but this is just what I'm starting and I am planning on starting more things in July. like. Sunflowers you have until about July 15th here to start, so I want to do another round of those. And then I may try to do some more pumpkins. Here's a shot of the kohlrabi that's growing in my garden right now that I just Damn seed it. started more of today. Um, you can also start tons of flowers right now still, like zinnias only need 30 days. Those are a great one to start right now and get blooms all through fall. You could also start some cosmos, even marigolds. You could also start squash and zucchini in succession and even some peas and long beans. Those will all do really well and give you some goodies in the fall. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know what you're planning to start for a fall or winter crop and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.